When will Amazon share the buy box? Going on to Amazon sellers or hopefully soon to be Amazon sellers. My name is Bo Crable and I've been selling online for over 10 years now. I started out working on the side of my father's eBay business until I wanted to take that over myself. And then I did, scaled it and want to scale it more. So I got into Amazon and now I'm here talking to you, explaining you exactly how you can start selling on Amazon FBA in the online retail business model. Now, a question I've been getting a lot, for, especially in the past month or two months, is when is it a good time to compete with Amazon and be on the same exact listing on Amazon? And when will Amazon share the buy box? Now, if you're not sure what I mean by the buy box, it's simply call it the real estate where people actually get sales, okay? So if you're not on the buy box, you're not really getting sales. And on some products, Amazon will not let anyone else be on the buy box, okay? And we're gonna talk about those instances but there are some times where they will allow you to win the buy box, okay? And now first off, keep in mind is that there's thousands and tens of thousands of products on Amazon where Amazon's not selling it at all. Okay, so a big excuse I hear from people is like, oh, Amazon's on everything. No, Amazon's not on many things actually at all relatively. And yes, there are some products that Amazon's on, but this kind of leads right directly to the point where I'm gonna talk to you right now is explain to you kind of the background information of when Amazon will not share the buy box and when they do, and then we'll go into the computer and show you the exact specifications of when they will and will they're not. Okay, so now first thing, when Amazon won't share the buy box, that means they pretty much have an exclusivity on that product, okay? And that's usually with smaller brands. So a big misconception people have is that, oh, every single product that has a brand that Amazon's on it, no. It's only for tiny brands. And now what a lot of people do is because a lot of people teach in, I guess, selling brands, on Amazon is go contact small manufacturers. And the problem with that is one, people want big brands, and two, Amazon is usually selling the small manufacturers. There's never Amazon's never gonna be selling huge, huge brands, okay? Now there's reasons for it, but it literally financially makes absolutely no sense for Amazon to go get exclusive deals or have like Nerf go let Amazon be the only retailer. It makes no sense. You're never gonna see Amazon being the only seller of Apple. You're never gonna see them being the only seller of Nike, Sony, Samsung, Nature Made, Hasbro, Mattel, Disney, that's never gonna happen, okay? However, the instance where Amazon's not gonna share the buy box again is when they have exclusive deal on it. So now when they don't have an exclusive deal with them, then that's gonna come to the aspect of where Amazon can still be on the listing, but if they do not have exclusive deal with them, then that means that you can actually undercut them and you can win the buy box 100% of the time or they'll even share the buy box with you. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go into my computer and show you exactly how that looks and how you can go tell if Amazon has an exclusive deal with the person or with the brand, okay? Okay, so I have three products right here. I'm gonna show you these three examples. And for two of these, Amazon will not share the buy box and one of them, Amazon will share the buy box. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is let's first go over this product right here. I'm gonna to explain to you the reasons why Amazon will not share the buy box, okay? So first off, what I notice is that the price is $26 and Amazon currently has the buy box. So if you're not sure what the buy box is, if you go on Amazon and the first price you see and, and whoever's price it just says right here is the person in the buy box. So if this says like sh sold by Bo's store and fulfilled by Amazon, then I have the buy box. But it says shipped from and sold by Amazon, Amazon has the buy box, okay? But the next thing I notice is that there's other sellers, okay? So either the sellers have no idea what they're doing, which is usually the case in Amazon. Most Amazon sellers absolutely have no idea what they're doing or they're sharing the buy box, okay? Now, first thing I notice is that there's Amazon warehouse deals and amazon.com. So Amazon warehouse deals is just for used products, but we notice there's few sellers at 26, other seller at 26, and then some higher. So obviously these people are not even be eligible to get the buy box because one, they're selling fulfillment by merchant and two, this person's higher. Um, but these two people, they might be thinking they're going to rotate the buy box. They think, okay. However, what we notice is there, it looks like there has not been a time where Amazon has actually been sharing the buy box. And how I know that is simply because looking at Keepa. So if Keepa is a Chrome extension, so if you don't have Keepa yet, you should for sure get that. You just got to, it's a extension um, with Chrome. And what you can look is if Amazon's always been on the listing and has never let anybody undercut them or share it, then that's not good. And how I know that is if I open up all the data, we notice that Amazon's 
always on it. Okay, there's been other sellers because you can see here in this more historical data, we can see there's been other sellers. Okay, however, if we look at these pink dots, it's always been Amazon. And how I know that is if you hover your mouse over to here, it says Amazon. Now, sometimes it might say a third party, right? For example, this dot right here says third party, but that's mostly because Amazon was either back order and then you can see right away they just matched there. Okay, so it looks like there was for a little bit that a third party did have the buy box, but then Amazon just right away matched. So that's not a good sign. So if you just see here that basically Amazon's always lining up with the orange line and the pink dots, that is not a good sign. Okay, so just make that simple for you. If you see the orange highlight always directly matched up with the pink dots, not a good sign. Okay. However, this next product, this is going to be another case where it's Amazon. You don't want to be with Amazon. Now, don't worry. There are times where you can actually share the buy box with Amazon. We're going to do that. In the next example, however, this product right here is has a lot of no's. Okay. So first off, we notice Amazon has the buy box shipped from and sold by Amazon.com for $49.99. We go to the other sellers, what we notice is that Amazon, 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 Amazon. So only Amazon's on this listing. So that's one sign that's not good if Amazon is literally the only seller. However, let's see if in the past there has been other sellers. And we look like here, no. Amazon has literally been the only other seller. Okay, if you open up more historical data, which is on Keepa, you can notice on the little line, it just the blue line just says one offer count, which means the amount of sellers. So there's literally been one seller the entire time. And you can see here, it's just been Amazon. Okay, so that's going to be a sign. Don't go for it. And the reason why is because this is a smaller brand. Okay, this brand, Miari, most likely has an exclusivity on this product. Okay, I bet you if I go to their quantity and go add this unit, it's going to show that they have Amazon has unlimited amount of inventory. And that's because Miari is a small brand and they're allowing Amazon just to sell it for them. Okay. And most likely in this case too, you can see Umbra, I've never heard of them before, right? I bet you Amazon has probably over 999 units because Umbra is probably selling exclusively to Amazon. Okay. So this last example, Amazon will actually share the buy box and this would be a great product to take Amazon on. And you can see this is a big brand name product, Old Spice. These past two examples, we're small brands. That's why I tell people you got to be going for big, big brand name products. Okay. Now the really cool thing about this example I'm showing you right now is just a few hours ago, I actually pulled up these examples and actually took a few screenshots of them because I was actually going to use screenshots instead of videos. However, what I noticed now is Amazon has the buy box and actually a few hours ago, a third party seller had the buy box at just a dollar cheaper. Okay. And actually I took the screenshot of it and you can see it right here. It is sold by Special Supply at $16.99. Now, Special Supply isn't on the listing anymore because he sold out. However, he was at a cheaper price and Amazon did not undercut him or match him. And they just let him be. Now, that is the only time where you want to be sharing the buy box with Amazon or even competing with Amazon. Okay, Because actually, you're not even going to be sharing the buy box. You're just going to be getting the buy box 100% of the time. So Special Supply, he put his price at $16.99. He sold out. Amazon didn't even bother to match him and went from there. So the, again, let me just repeat that. The only time you want to be on the listing with Amazon is when you can undercut them and they won't match you and they'll leave you alone. Okay. And how I can actually prove that is you can see right now, I mean, the listing is $17.98. But if we go into Keepa, we can see this has happened several times in the past. Okay. We can see right here. And if you haven't downloaded Keepa yet, you know you need to. But you can see it says Amazon $18.49. You can see the pink dot. It says right there, third party 1663. Amazon's at 1849 and they're not undercutting. Okay, I actually really, really like those deals because Amazon's almost like umbrella for kind of keeping the market price accurate because if people can just undercut them and people don't match, that's fine. So I really like that opportunities. However, on the other aspects, you see this product right here when people are undercutting, Amazon just kept matching because this is a smaller brand. They have an exclusive with that. And Amazon just was to sell as many units as possible. With Old Spice, it's a big brand. Old Spice does not, they care about Amazon, but Amazon's not that big of a client for them. People don't understand is that Amazon's big, but people don't understand that 
normal retail brick and mortar is actually way, way bigger. And it actually just makes no sense financially for these huge companies to sell directly to Amazon and have exclusivity. It makes no sense. But Amazon likes to not take advantage of smaller brands, but sometimes it's more beneficial for small brands to do that. Okay. However, what we can notice too is to kind of prove to you that special supply was selling it. You can actually open up the Keepa data tabs and you can actually see that he had 30 units at one point and he just had a few left and they went lower and lower. He had six left and then you can see had one left and then sold out. Okay. And that's special supply. So you can see right there, he sold out. He wasn't at $17.98. He just put his price at $16.99. Amazon didn't worry about him and just went from there. Okay. So just to recap this video, the only time where you want to go compete with Amazon is where you can undercut the price and they don't match you. Because when you undercut the price, you're not even going to share the sales with Amazon. You're only, you're going to get hundred percent of the sales, but if there's other FBA sellers, then you'll share with FBA sellers, but Amazon's not even going to get any of the sales. Okay. Now the times when you do not want to sell with Amazon is when it's a small brand, because usually if it's a small brand, they most likely have an exclusivity with that product. Okay. With big brands, Amazon is not going and will never have, and I can't say never, but they're not going to have an exclusivity. It makes literally no financial point at all. And economically, it's just stupid for any big brand to do that. So I hope you like this video and make sure to give it a like, make sure to comment down below what questions you do have and just have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you want to stay up to date with all of my new content and be the first one to see all of the cool stuff I'm releasing, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then when you hit subscribe, you want to make sure you hit the little bell so you can get notified for my videos. And then also feel free to attend the free webinar that I will be hosting on exactly how you can be selling brand name products on Amazon. The webinar is 100% free to attend. I would most likely be in the first link in the description. You can attend that webinar and you're going to learn exactly how to sell brand name products on Amazon. Okay. Then what you can also do is you can join the free public Facebook group I have as well. You can search it. It will be in the probably towards the end of my description. There will be a link to that. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Bo Crable. Follow me on Instagram at Bo Crable as well. And then also you can follow my Facebook fan page, which is official at official Bo Crable. You can just hit follow and you can see all the content be up to date with everything you can see coming from me. Okay.